Okay, we're at Delaney's. I don't even know what that is. It's a sailboat. What the world? Oh look, it's Buddy's Cannon. Thank you, Buddy. And that's a radial airplane engine there. That that's that's what it uses to power this thing with. Oh wow! And then the mo the the, the uh, rear wheels are electric motors. And then, and then there, that's a generator to, to to apply power to the electric motors. Wow! It's an air pump. And then he used to have a trailer that he would haul haul behind this thing, and that had electric motors on the wheels of that tra trailer well he, he broke an axle on this wrecker one time so he pulled into a, a service station and asked to borrow some tools and uh, they left with his tools so he came out and pulled the axles out, out of each end here pull the axles right out and and then hop back in into the cab flicked on the electric motors to the trailer and he pushed himself home with the trailer <laughs> that's crazy that is wild. Hadn't rained in a while. Wow, he pumped the top of the water. <laughs> There's a big engine in there. Yep. Big engine generator. You heard the story out about this. Uh-uh. This is called the Forevertron. The Forevertron. The Forevertron. Well, there is a telescope for observation. And then that's a glass ball up there inside of a copper shroud. And then that's the observation deck there. Well, the, the premise is that if somebody can climb into that glass ball and then they can observe it from the telescope or, or from the uh, elevated viewing portion there, that the, when they energize this, it will, whoever's inside that glass ball, it will propel them into heaven. Oh, well, there you go. It, and it probably would. It probably would. That is crazy. Unbelievable. Let's 
sort of contraption over there. Lots of big birds. Here's a cool bug. The man had an imagination. He did. The a Volkswagen Beetle hood, Baja bug hood over there. So now it's my understanding that his wife, it, or Dr. Evermore, died about a year ago. And his wife and son pretty much maintain this property now. Huh. Which is still all owned by Jim Bellini. Uh, he's the guy that let us in here. There's where I'd fly out of, out of Earth from right there. Oh, that's new. I haven't seen that. Uh, that's interesting. Looks good to me. Lots of birds. Yeah. That's crazy. That's a big one. Hey, buddy. I don't know what this thing is. Okay. I guess this is some sort of cannon or something. Oh, no? Shit. I gotta get going. I gotta get back. I gotta check on the reds. All right. I'll see you in a little bit. Yeah. Thanks. You bet. No telling what you can do with this. I don't know what that is. that is either looks like a big bird head lots of birds Look at this thing. Crazy. Don't even know where to go here. Don't even know what to think about this. Orchestra. Oh, is that what this is? Yeah. This, oh. See, all, all, all the all the birds here are made out of some kind of musical instruments. Yeah, that makes sense. Including the guitar and, and the chimes. You can see the, the trumpets. And then behind you here is, is the orchestra leader. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that makes sense now. 
sure as anything. That's crazy. And then this is a little frog band. Yeah. How are you? Look at this thing. Huh. So sweet. I drive it. Texas 200 right here. <laughs> wow. Well, hadn't been in the water since 1979. I This is absolutely crazy. Well, wild, isn't it? that's a walk around, folks. Walk around the Delaney. The Do what? Into the band? Yeah, we got the band. I don't know about this sailboat. Yeah, it, it, it might not float very well. <laughs> All right, that's it, everybody.